Hello there, this guide I want to show you how to add ultra wide support to Elden Ring Night Rain and remove black bars for any resolutions that are not 16 by 9, like 16 by 10 for example, and make the game fill the entire screen. But please note that this does not work for online play with the official servers of the game, so you have to run the game offline or use a mod like Seamless Co-op to be able to play with your friends in co-op mode. And all the tools I will be showing you here in this guide will be compatible with Seamless Co-op if you wish to use that. So now the first thing we need to do is to go to this GitHub link. I will leave all the links in the video description for you to download. Just click on this blue link right here. It will download automatically. Then we go to this Nexus mod, which will disable the easy anti-cheat. You just go here to the Files tab, then Manual Download, then log in if you're not already or sign up. Then go to this Patreon website and download from the link here in the bottom. Just click on this one, it will download automatically. After that, we go to the downloads folder where our browser stores all the files that we downloaded. Now we go to where the game is installed for us. If you have the game on Steam, it should be in this PC, then C drive, then program files 86, then Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and the Elden Ring folder should be right here. But I have the game installed elsewhere, so make sure to find where the game is installed for you. It should be Elden Ring Night Rain. Open it, then go to Game Folder. Then open the Disable EAC, then just drag and drop this text file right here. We go back and we go to this second one, which is the Mod Loader. We just drag and drop everything. I already have some files here, so it will ask me to replace. I will just replace. It may not ask you. Then we go ahead to the mod itself that enables us to use the ultra wide support. We just drag and drop these two. The release notes file is not necessary, so you can just drag the first one and ignore the release notes. Actually, I will just go ahead and remove this text file. Now from now on, if we want to launch the game, we just launch it through this game executable, Night Rain. For easier access, we can just create a shortcut for it to run the game. I'll create one on the desktop and I'll name it to offline. So we don't launch the game anymore from the Steam or from the default shortcut. We launch it from this one. Now we need to fix the mod load order. We just go ahead and open the Patreon page then we just copy and paste this to the mod loader config file. Go ahead and edit it with a text editor. Then we go to this line right here. Then we add our file right here, then equals. It should be the first thing that loads and we make it one. Then we delete this example here. If we have other mods, we add them after this one. Like for example, I have this unlock FPS. I'll just copy its name from the mods folder. If you don't see the extensions like here, .dll, just go to the views tab here, then show, then file name extensions, and they should show up. Then copy the full name, then go ahead to the load order here and add it equals to a higher number than our ultra wide mod. Now, if you wish to go back to playing on the official servers without any mods, of course, just delete or move two files. These two files are the D input right here and the text file that disables the easy anti-cheat. And that should be it. If you wish to go back to the mods version, just put those two files back there and it should work. And that's it. I hope this helped you and peace out.